We have been away for a while. Yes, but now it's crunch time. In case you didn't know, we have spent the past couple of weeks in the Netherlands mostly, also a week in Belgium, which we just came back from. We've been collecting a lot of stuff because we need a lot of things for our new home. We need tools, we need furniture, we need tools. <laughs> And now that we've gathered almost everything, we have accumulated so much stuff, so much stuff, so much stuff. There's much more upstairs. We have to organize it, pack it and go back and go back. And we have set a deadline because we found a house here to do in France and we have to be there at the end of this week. So we have four days mm -hmm. to do everything. And get the trailer and get a couch. And we've set it all up, but it's going to be a bit of a rush to finalize everything. So that's the first priority is go pick up our trailer. Some weeks ago we went to this auction viewing. You saw it two videos back and we saw a trailer and Warner bid on it and we won. And, and now, now we need to pick, pick it, it up. up. <laughs> and check it because <laughs> we, don't, it works. Uh, we don't know if it works. So. <laughs> yeah, let's, no, no, it's gonna work for sure. It's gonna be great. Once we have the trailer then we can go pick up a couch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We were going to try buy a second hand free kitchen but I don't think that's gonna work out. That was a fail. Yes, so what we thought was gonna be a really high quality old kitchen was a really low quality old kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So it said it was wood, but it wasn't. It was like wood composite with the grain of the wood drawn in. We felt bad getting there and then being like, eh, no, sorry, but it was really bad quality. It was not worth it at all. It's not worth breaking it all out and then taking it to Spain. It's just not a quality kitchen. No. No. That just means that we have to start looking again. We haven't done visits yet of kitchens we have just been looking online and i think that was a good lesson a good learning that we just have to go see the kitchens before we commit to getting trailers breaking them down etc luckily we didn't do that today we thought of just coming seeing it breaking it down and then doing the trailer move tomorrow we have to be a bit more smart beforehand like really look at it look at what comes with it and make a good decision based on that we're not in a hurry and we might as well get the best kitchen possible if we're gonna make the effort yeah it needs to be dragged 1500 kilometers to spain so if we get one it needs to be proper so a bit of a fail also because we're two and a half hours away of where we live so <laughs> yeah we've just taken a really long drive for <laughs> nothing this happens as well it doesn't always work out as you want or expect that's part of the the process i think finding secondhand things it's totally possible and you can get really wonderful gems but it's very time intensive and that's something that you just have to take into account for us it's worth it we want to make this effort we want to get things as sustainably as possible and it also allows us to get things much cheaper than just buying a new kitchen or new fireplace but it does come with its downsides and that's part of the process <laughs> it's been a lot of days of searching and doing stuff and I'm not sleeping very well so I think it's getting to me. It's so far it has been extremely difficult. We have tried for weeks to find it but every time we miss out on it or it turns out to be such a crappy kitchen that it's just not worth or Taking just really, really expensive and then it's not really worth it for us yeah. either because these kitchens, the, the, the materials are not great nowadays. They're like MDF and composite board, is that called? I no. don't know how you call that in the Anyway, this, this, this is not real good quality wood and therefore when they take them out, they always get damaged. Yeah, and we've, we've gone to some see, damaged kitchens. Yeah, we've gone to see some really nice kitchens that were pricey and then you get there and they're scratched everywhere and because they're um, plastic wrapped they cannot even be painted again so no. it's really not worth it but so we're, we're thinking of being creative yeah we're gonna pivot but we're not gonna tell you how but we're gonna pivot yeah. but that will take really long so it's not don't get excited for a kitchen yet but anyway that's all to say that we have a very exciting few days ahead of organizing hope you like that and we'll show you some of the things we've gotten and traveling back to spain but that won't be in this video. No, but you should know we're going back. It's happening. <clears throat> but now we just pick up and we come back home. Okay, we're here. We're gonna pick up our trailer, but there's a lot of trucks. <laughs> intimidating, intimidating. That is our new baby. 
How are you feeling? Let's hope it works. Let's hope it makes it to Spain. Uh, you never know. So I think it looks pretty good, except this base plate will probably need to be changed at some point. It even has life growing out of it. <laughs> but the rest, it looks good. Of course, until we don't put it, we won't know if the lights work, which is a concern. But yeah, pretty happy. Looking for more stuff we can buy. Because Warner made friends with the seller of all this building stuff. Oh. Great. <laughs> you having fun? It's like being a kid in a candy store, right? Sorry. I think this thing is quite cool. Yeah, good. Okay, Warner's having a jolly good time, I think. He's made friends with the man that's selling all this stuff and hey, they're chatting and I think he's having a great time, but it's been, I think, a couple of hours now. So I'm sitting in a car, it's raining now. I'm cold, good thing. Brought our tea, like always. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm just taking this time to continue searching online to see if we find some last minute things that we need to get or want to get. It's funny because I've been doing so much searching that my hand hurts so much. I have like nerve damage, especially on my right hand. Now it's starting to be on my left hand as well. I'm really happy we came and got a lot of stuff and it has been really useful and we'll probably have to do this again. But I'm also looking forward to going back to the north of Spain and start doing stuff that is not searching all the time because my hand needs a rest. It really does. Okay, it's three hours later. I'm not kidding. Three hours. And... They're gonna have coffee now, all together. They're adamant I join. I've left the car and I'm gonna join for coffee. Let's see if we're done <laughs> buying stuff soon. Is this your stash? <laughs> Everything? Including the ladder? Wow. You've been being productive. Warner and his stash. Those are all nails, small nails. Screws. Screws. We're taking this scaffolding, cleaning stuff because Cleaner. it's all natural one materials. One. Yeah, one, one is enough. Don't start <laughs> accumulating for the sake of accumulating. <laughs> one is like two, <laughs> three. Handy, handy. Do you want the smaller ones as well? Because there's a whole box of the small ones. Well. I, I don't know what we'll even use that for. To kind of build the whole uh, greenhouse. Ah, we're getting a vacuum, tile cutter, there's just a lot of stuff here. Oh, uh, here. What? You want to replace the ones that are there now? The air vents? Why? <laughs> the good thing is that the man we're buying this from is like the sweetest, sweetest man. How are you feeling? I'm so happy. <laughs> I got so much stuff, so much stuff, it's insane. I mean, I'm like, I should get more, but it's calmed down a bit, no? Yeah, the guy is really nice, oh, it's really the man. Handy. Yeah, we got a lot of things we need, so I don't even think we can take everything now. No, but it's gonna be so useful. This is exactly what we wanted to show about thinking differently and looking for things differently. You can find a lot of stuff secondhand and save so much money and it's good for everyone. It's, every, it's good for everyone involved. I'm really happy that we look for this alternative ways of sourcing materials, sourcing things that we need. Sorry, I'm trying to find the ATM to get money to pay. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at more stuff. <laughs> Almost done. We got everything in there and in the trunk, which includes some power tools for 300 euros. Already, we've tied it all down, so it should be fine. It's raining a lot now, so we had to also get a tarp. There is our little trailer. Oh my goodness. 
Now we're out. How are you feeling? Good. Well, it was successful. So we spent four hours. Four hours? <laughs> you didn't realize it was four hours? I realized it was four hours. My, my hands and feet feel like it was four hours. <laughs> but it was just because the first time I walked through there, I was like, oh yeah, there's some interesting things. And then I was like, wait, it's actually interesting. And then I just kept on doing the same loop and grabbing more. I've done that loop, I think, 50 times. And every time I was like, oh, maybe that's handy as well. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna keep in touch with this man. He was lovely. Yeah, we have his details. And next time we come, we'll send him a message and asking for all the stuff we need and he's gonna look for it or see if he has it. Now we go home. It's really rainy and gray. Okay, we're home. This is not even half of what we've gotten. This is a um, industrial vacuum cleaner. We got all those for security, all sorts of nails, screws, working boot with a ton of woodworking tools inside, the belt, all this caulking and whatever stuff, a lifetime supply of gloves, <laughs> tarps in case we need to paint, more screws, a tile cutter. Here we have tools, sander, um, do I, I forgot how that is called, more screws. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Now the next day. Yesterday we spent, as you saw, four hours in that warehouse and it was great. To be honest, we, we locked out. We got so many handy things at a fraction of the cost that it would have cost us to get them even secondhand from individuals. So we were really lucky with this man. He was also lovely and we're gonna definitely do business with him again in the future. In fact, today we're already going back to the warehouse to pick up a digger like a hand digger thing that he has brought for us. He sent us a message because we told him we needed one. Yeah, he's just the sweetest, sweetest person. So yeah, we were very lucky. When we got back home, we were cold <laughs> and honestly exhausted. It was a long morning, much longer than we expected. We just had lunch and then we got back to our searching online or i got back to the searching online which really the injury is starting to really bother me in my hand but it was worth it because i found a free fat boy look at it so big oh this is gonna be great to lay on the land we need a couple more so when we have friends over everyone could chill for summer to sit outside on the grass i just think it's the perfect thing and that's the thing i've invested a lot of time this past week to searching online but i've been able to find some amazing deals because of that i've gotten a lot of things for free are they cool yeah they're really nice they're really good it's like the proper chair if you have more of a budget, it's much easier to find things quickly secondhand because you can just afford to buy whatever you like. And there's so much on offer, at least in the Netherlands. And in Belgium, there was a lot as well. So I do think that if you have a bigger budget, it's really easy to find secondhand things. But even if you don't, if you need to keep your cost down as minimal as possible, like we do, you don't need to compromise. There's a lot of free things that I see that we're just not willing to get. We're not in a student phase anymore where any chair will do we want nice things and it's still possible to find nice things for really affordable prices if you have patience and yeah that's just the price to pay you always have to pay a price and in this case for me it's time and a nerve injury <laughs> but i'm so happy it's, it's been really really worth it we have so many gems i can't wait to show you but before that i want to show you something when we were in brussels i fell in love with this little horse statue that i saw in the flea market and when Warne went to negotiate or figure out the price, because he tends to do that because I get really socially anxious, it seemed like a lady was picking it up and taking it, so we didn't get it. But he sneakily went the next day without telling me and then gifted it for my birthday. I'm so excited about it, so I wanted to show you. It's so cute. I love it so much. I thought it looked quite scandy because, I don't know, it's very clean, the colors. I don't know, I just thought it looked Scandinavian, but I've Google lensed it and it turns out it's a zebra from South Africa, <laughs> which is actually even more exciting. I love to figure out this type of things. I really like knowing that it's from South Africa and yeah, I found a lot of them for sale online. It's not a very valuable piece, but I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous the little decorative piece. So I'm really excited. I don't know if we'll be able to take it this time with us because we have so much stuff that we don't want to take any breakables. Just wanted to share. Anyway, today's plan is the following. 
first we're gonna go thrift shopping it's the last time we're gonna go thrift shopping and that's how we've done it this past week so we've searched a ton online on secondhand websites and on facebook marketplace and then we've also gone to every thrift shop we could think of look at these stunning chairs this is like the dream everything's so pretty there's so much cool stuff here it's not that pricey it's very reasonable and we've also done the auction thing where we got a lot of the tools so the way we've gotten our secondhand things has been quite varied and today is the last day we're going to be able to go to thrift shops just to look around see what we can find i've noticed that different methods are good for different things and thrift shops are really good for those smaller items that you might not be able to find online like coasters or a dish rack i haven't found one yet but that's on my list so let's see what we see today i couldn't leave this lamp but the shade it just looks way too big like i don't know if proportionately you can tell but it's humongous these cups are cute i just don't know what i would do with them we are still looking for a table but we're not really in a hurry and it's difficult to find a table that feels special this is fine but is it worth it i love this one really cute imagine this in a small breakfast nook or in the greenhouse really like it but we're so far away from that that makes no sense to buy this is a pet peeve of mine i really don't like tables that share the legs right now i don't like tables that have really good legs that's a very dutch thing <laughs> this is cute but small but this like this side is cool you know we like anything that is more exotic <laughs> for Europe. I really like the colors. So pretty. We're back at the warehouse shop that we came last time and we couldn't carry any of the things we liked. And the furniture piece we liked, still there. Thing is, I don't know if we have a spot for it in our home, but it might be worth to get it because we're thinking of for someone else that would be very handy and it's a really pretty piece. I don't know if you see it, but obviously it's not a standing up. It's supposed to be, it's like a TV. Last time he said he could, we could get it for 40. It was pretty good. So, maybe we get it? I'm not sure. Okay, we got it. Now you can see it better. And the lamp, both for 60 euros. Why well, no, it's very decisive. Yeah, that was right. That was correct, no? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I think it's cool. I don't know where it will go, either thing, but I think it's worth it. Because <laughs> this is a lot of work to make a furniture piece like this. And it's cool, it's modern. Yeah, 50 bucks. The lamp is for the hammam style bathroom. We want to yeah, make some work. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. It's very nice as okay. well. Cool. It is big. It's not focusing. No? Ah, no, it is. It took a while. This is based on the Basilica uh, Vatican, you said. Okay, in case you didn't know, we spent quite a long time trying to buy a place in the Netherlands, to live in the Netherlands. Because when we moved back from Australia a few years ago, during COVID, in 2020, we had to move in with family, thinking, ah, oh, it's gonna be like one month or two months. <laughs> and then we realized we couldn't afford renting a home here. We wanted something more for the first time in our life. We wanted a home with a little garden where we could plant stuff. And it was just not possible for us to rent because we would lose all our salaries on rent so we decided we wanted to try buy and that was <laughs> delusional <laughs> we really struggled so when we realized that we would never get into the normal property ladder we decided to try the tiny house community thing i've come to see the site of a possible tiny house community i really like it it's so cute and warner really worked hard for a long time it seemed like it might work out you were on that for years we had a tiny house designed we had everything but the project didn't go forward the municipality had other interests uh, <laughs> <laughs> money <laughs> but if we would have worked out it would have been something like what we passed although your no, tiny house would have been no, much no, nicer no, no. Yeah, it's funny because in the netherlands they have such a housing crisis that the little tiny house projects that they have started they could be a huge success or like th th they are a big success but they could be really cool projects i don't wish the project would have worked out because if not we would have a house now here and what will we do but 
yeah, it, it is a shame that we spend a lot of time dreaming about a tiny house that never happened. The design Warner made is so cool. Maybe one day we just have to make a tiny house for the design to make become a reality because we worked on it for months and it's such a cool design. It works perfectly. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's a really, really cute house. If anyone needs a very small house design and you want to hire Warner to, to share his designs with you, he's really good. I know he doesn't want to do that, but he's really good. We've come to our next stop, but first, croissants for lunch. Cheese croissants. They might not look like croissants. Because they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are. Warner made these from scratch the other day for my birthday. They're so yummy, they're so heavy, but they're so good. And they look a bit like a fried bread. <laughs> I don't know what you describe. They're really good. They're filled with vegan cheese. Delicious, thank you, babe. You're welcome. Next stop is a cute little town. I think the thrift store is in the church and it's closing soon because in all these small places, well, also in the cities, to be honest, in the week in the Netherlands, they close at like four or five. So you really have to rush if you want to make it in the day. <laughs> okay, we're very picky with art, but how cool is that? Warner did pick something. It's a really cool story and it's 7.50, so... Okay. What did you get? We got a little painting I showed you, and then... A curtain. Wow! A funky curtain. That is funky. For the guest bedroom. They only had one, but I think it's wide enough. And I like the colors. It's amazing. <laughs> it was 7.50. They were very friendly. Yeah. So I'm happy. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. Look, it's huge veggie right, thing. My Christmas trees. We don't fit at the moment. Uh, I was gonna turn on the camera to show charming Netherlands. And now it's very loud in the Netherlands. But it's charming. Like a thatched roof. It's raining. We're in this cute little town trying to make time until we can pick up our couch. For half an hour. But there's a coal plant right there. It's so weird yeah. <laughs> to see the, the contrast between the cuteness and the industrial. Anyway, very cute. Very cute. Seventy, seventy-two. Well, and this town is Catholic, no? I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, not bad. Then why did you just say it was Catholic? Because I must take it myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go see the kitties. Hi, baby. Hi. You're cute too. Hello. Today in the evening we also have to pick up our couch. We've been looking for weeks for our couch. We finally found one that we think is the right measurements, the right style. I've realized we're very picky with couches. <laughs> there were a lot, a lot of second-hand couches, but I found the majority of them to really not be to my taste or also to not fit in our house. The couches that we find secondhand in the Netherlands are humongous and our cabin is quite small. So we had to, yeah, we had to find something with very specific measurements that could fit. The only thing I'm not too excited about this couch is that it's gray and I don't like gray couches and unfortunately the majority of the couches are gray but what I'm thinking is that we're gonna just keep it like this for a couple of years whilst we're doing renovations etc it's just nice to have a place to sit and then in the future when the house is more finished and you know clean we can reupholster it together and I'm excited about doing that job probably myself that's the plan at least not very well prepared but we're managing we did it we're in the car we have a couch we have the furniture piece, 
It's full already, basically. Yeah, you can see all the cushions. <laughs> it looked good. We didn't get to try it or sit on it, so I hope it's comfortable. But yeah, we got a free couch. It fit perfectly in the trailer. If it would have been 10 centimeters bigger, it wouldn't have fit. Let's see how it is when we get home, we get to sit on it. Uh, and if not, we'll get another couch in the future if we don't like it. It's always handy to have a couch, no? Sorry, I'm just hyper-focused on the trailer. The trailer's fine, I see it, it looks good. No issues. No issues. Look at the cushions here. They're, they're very grey, that's my only thing. I'm not complaining, it's a free couch. <laughs> but it's very grey. Didn't want a grey couch. I also didn't want um, velvet. And it's a grey velvet, so you get what you get. <laughs> Look at the tulip fields. Maybe this is a good segue to include the clips from my birthday the other day, in which we went to see tulips. That's what we did. On my birthday, we just had gotten back from Belgium and we had a very chill day, but we went out of the house to see tulips. And we had a very chill day because it was Easter here. Everything was closed, but the tulips were lovely. So here it goes. Is that it? No, bridge is still coming. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have to cross a really big bridge now. And there is a wind alert. It's really strong, the wind. So Warner's a bit worried about the trailer. It cannot blow the trailer off. It does happen. Don't say it. Yeah, but it does happen. Ah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'll film it in case. I think it's gonna be fine. We're on the bridge! It doesn't even feel that bad. No, it's much less bad here. It was more windy behind. Yeah, it's good! We're fine! See, it's okay! Not worried anymore? We're almost, almost crossed. We're only 20 minutes away from home. So today, I think was a success. Pretty, pretty flowers. It makes the flat landscape so beautiful. And and we switch to the other side. Yeah. Here you can see what it's like driving on top of a dike. Where the houses are lower on either side. We made it home. Now we just have to unload everything. And find a spot for it in the house. Sorry Muti. She's gonna be very upset with us filling everything. We have way more than we can carry, like way, way, way more than we can carry with us this trip. So we know we're gonna have to prioritize the right things. We've already gone through a lot of the boxes and decided of all the knickknacks that I collected for a couple of years during COVID times here in the Netherlands when we were living here. So this is gonna take me a long time. I'm not really looking forward to it, to be honest, but let's get to it. Here we have animal posters that I got from a previous job that is not necessary right now. Want to see our travel photos that we printed in Australia? <laughs> they really were not rolled properly. The previous picture was online. This is Jeju Island in South Korea and me hiking in the Himalayas. Also not necessary at this point in time. This is shea butter for when I make my own body cream. See, it's all this type of things that I bought for 50 cents, 20 cents in secondhand shops, thinking they'll be handy in the future. And that's true, super handy in the future. It just means we have box filled with random stuff, not the handiest to go through. Body soap, handy to take with us. It doesn't need this. My taste has changed. Yeah. 
Ah, it's okay, it's still nice, but we wouldn't invest in this now. <laughs> Luckily, everything we bought in the past was super cheap, so... Why do we have so many earthly possessions? Honestly, when we were traveling and we had nothing, life was so much easier. We can, we have like our own thrift store. <laughs> I got all these cool vegan Asian cookbooks from Warner as a present a few years back. And it was just before we moved, so we've never actually used them. Phase one of 100 complete. The room looks like a bomb has exploded, which happens every time because we have a small room filled with a lot of stuff. It's so nice to find. <laughs> well, that's very nice. Paid 250 for it. I can decorate so many places now. <laughs> Look at this. We're keeping Warner's sandals from when we <laughs> traveled around the world. We're gonna put them up as a souvenir on the wall. I know it looks disgusting to some, but for us it's memories. We've already decided which things need to come with us now and which things can wait for another time. But we now also need to go through all the tools and the furniture that we've bought this time around to see what we're going to prioritize. Make sure that we are within the weight limit because that is super important. And yeah, get ready to start driving down to Spain. Good morning, everyone. It's a couple of days later. So yesterday we didn't film. A lot of packing was happening yesterday. There's a lot of packing going on today. And at some point today we're leaving. We are still debating whether it's best to drive through the night when there's less cars and therefore there's less risk with the trailer and everything we're carrying of like having to brake suddenly because someone does something weird or if it's better to drive during the day because we feel more comfortable during the day. I don't know, I'm a bit, I'm a bit stressed to be honest. But there's we have boxes everywhere. And I don't know how much we'll be able to take this time around. Warner loves packing the car like he's like a tetris master so it will be fine i'm a bit stressed out about the journey we will be stopping in france halfway through to do a house set but it's still quite quite a far away so i don't know if we'll stop and sleep in france as well one extra night and then go to the house set then stay four days in the house set, and then go to the north of spain or if we just drive till the house set i don't know everything's up in the air and this type of situations kind of give me anxiety <laughs> it's starting the packing is starting it's gonna start raining really soon so we need to pack as quickly as possible it's already raining okay cover it <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop and pack when it stops raining. This is so difficult. So difficult. At least it's stopped raining. Soon. Okay, I see, wait. Yeah? Yeah, I see. Looks like this. This is craziness. We have space underneath and space on top and that's it. It is so tall. Terrifying. The fact is we have a lot of gaps still. Yeah, there's gaps, gaps here. There's tons of gaps. How are you feeling, Warner? Better. So this time we prioritize bringing all the tools, off of them, tons of nails and stuff, the fireplace, the ladder. Everything. The couch. Furniture is staying behind though. But there's so much stuff in here. And the car is also pretty full. It has all the tools, some plants we got from Muti, my sewing machine, boxes of I don't know what. We still have space here. And just when I thought we were almost done. Warner decided we could fit more. <laughs> I wanna cry. We've had to undo all the knots. Oh, it's been a really long day. It must be around 8 p.m. and we're finally ready to leave. We're packed. We were taking so much stuff. Ready? I hope so, you? Yes. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Can do this. It's 8.30 in the evening and we're gonna drive all the night. Oof. Yeah, we are already losing light, so let's go. Good 
Good morning. We have been on the road for 12 hours. It's 8.30 in the morning. We have another four hours to go. Going with a trailer is <laughs> much slower. But we did take two breaks to nap. Still feeling a bit tired, no? Yeah. But we wanted to avoid traffic because with a trailer, it just gets much more risky when cars break or something suddenly happens. And in France, that happens quite often. <laughs> Um, so we have avoided Paris altogether, gone around so that we don't have to deal with the traffic there. And then, yeah, driving at night has considerably reduced the risk, which was, I think was a good idea. It has been quite smooth, mm -hmm. except for the fact that, yeah, we're pretty, pretty exhausted. We're going to get there and take a nap, I hope. Yeah. yeah. France, we're doing a house sit for four days of two dogs and one cat near the coast we're gonna get to walk on the beach recover before we have to drive all the way to the north of spain <laughs> well, i have to we don't have to we want to and we're not gonna leave a trailer in france so now at this point we've committed <laughs> anything else to say no it's going well and hopefully we'll arrive there soonish and in all full pieces all pieces how do you say that complete pieces everything together <laughs> safe and sound <laughs> ciao we made it we're exhausted but look at us we're at the beach and we have puppies puppies hi say hi Say hi! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait. Puppy's saying hi. <laughs> Bonjour! <laughs> Sighting! <sighs> See you next time!